hey hi guys welcome to another video so in this particular video i am going to talk about uh, cracking the password from a firmware router so it's part of one of the iot security testing that i have done in my past and uh, firmware security testing or maybe the iot security testing is something that is very rarely discussed on internet or maybe you in youtube you won't find many guys talking about iot security stuff so i thought of uh, making some videos on iot security and i hope you guys would uh, love it do let me know by liking this video or even commenting if you like the content okay so here i have one of my firmware uh, present so the firmware name is firmware.bin now what exactly is a firmware so in simple term firmware is something that is low level control which are written for hardware specific right so for your let's say for your bios there is a firmware from your device let's say your camera have a firmware so it's basically some of the functional code that is written in low level which are understood by hardware and act according to it or maybe like manage according to it for this time being let's understand that as in the simple definition now there are different firmware file formats over here we have a dot bin file but there could be also like hex file or even sometime txt file i believe motorola use s19 file format or when e2p file format used by some different company so different uh, company uses different file format but in general you will find a file uh, firmware on dot bin format okay now to extract a firmware i mean to go about when testing a firmware the first thing that you need to do is extract the firmware and uh, this firmware either you can get from the official website or may uh, let's say for your router you are downloading like for d link or other you have the dlink.com from where you can download the firmware or even in our normal security testing we typically get from developer team as in beta testing version or maybe let's say for the testing version so let's go look at about how we can test this particular firmware now to test or extract this firmware we typically use one of the tool called as binwalk so if you see the tool name is binwalk okay i will type properly so binwalk is one of the tool that is used for disassembling or i would say like dumping or extracting the uh, firmware file so it has different functions like automatically extract which you are going to use right away there are like hyphen b hyphen l hyphen z we can use as per our requirement all these different file format for this time being let's use hyphen e so i can say binwalk hyphen e and i would say firmware.bin now it is going to say that lg ma compression data and it has extracted and this is a squash fs file system so there are different file system also which i will cover in some different video for over here uh, we have squash fs file system and now if we see that there is one of the extracted file or the firmware extracted already created over here so let's just go ahead and check this particular firmware so every time you uh, extract a firmware all you need to do is after extraction you need to go inside the particular firmware and check what are the different uh, file system or different content that is present now this is the basic methodology for go about testing any firmware or maybe even iot device firmware so let's just go about and uh, check for squash fest or root now it's not like something that you can check a particular directory so i would suggest you to enumerate all those different directory and find out some of the hidden content or maybe some of the sensitive content or hard coded password even some time to see what you can gather so over here we are going to crack the password for this squash of hash root or for this particular firmware so let's just do that now again i will check um, the uh, what is the file inside like etc password that usually we check right so i can check etc password this is the content of etc password file i believe i have covered a particular video about how to crack out linux password by looking at etc password or etc shadow file so over here we are looking at etc shadow file again so if i look at the etc shadow file there is a root user which is present and uh, this is the basically the hash so what we are going to do is we, we are going to basically use one of the tool called as hashcat to crack this particular password right so let's just go ahead and uh, copy this particular file so what i can do is i can copy etc shadow to something known as pass.txt okay and uh, let me edit this pass.txt first of all i would only like to keep it for root so i'll just remove other user details okay and let me save it all right so if i say now 
pass.txt it should have only the root user uh, you know hash along with it so let's just go ahead and uh, crack this particular file so again i'm going to go back to my uh, root directory where we have our password list which is already present on this particular system and we are going to use hashcat so quickly checking about hashcat uh, if you look at hashcat syntax i believe hyphen help yes so the, sorry hyphen hyphen help so there are multiple options that, uh, that is available with hashcat that you can use uh, and uh, probably i believe i will cover another video about hashcat i think i have already covered one videos on cracking password or we have spoke about hashcat so over here uh, hashcat uh, support like os system hash um, cracking also so i believe it based uh, follow a particular number pattern so i think for this think uh, the pattern is uh, 800 or something the number is 800 so let me just use it and uh, i scared grab 1800 yeah so it's for a sha 512 crypt and it's support for operating system so let's just go ahead and use that in order to crack the password so we can say like hashcat hyphen m 1800 a to be zero and then I would say underscore firmware. Then I would say like squash of hash etc. No, I think it is here only pass.txt. And uh, then I have to provide the password list. Now, the moment I press enter, so it says like initializing the device kernel and it's going to take some time. Great. So, after some uh, time of cracking, it has basically uh, going to dump the password so i want to see the status you can basically check by s also yeah so you can see that it has uh, it is still running right now and once you uh, find the password it is going to change the status to be cracked something right so let's just continue this to run so now here you can see the password has been cracked and uh, based on the password complexity sometime it uh, does take some time but over here I think it took around four minute and four second so this is basically the password that has been correct q1w2e something right so this is the password for this particular firmware so thanks for watching this video I believe you guys has learned something out of it and learned something about the firmware analysis do let me know if you need some more video or if you want me to make more videos about IoT security thanks for watching have a nice time bye bye